The Ministry of Tourism and the Senusha Tourism Authority, the SLTA, have launched Collection de Popit, the brand that will embody and fortify the marketing capacity of St. Lucia's small and boutique property subsector in the regional and international source markets. The bespoke brand was unveiled on March 16, 2022, during a special ceremony under the auspices of Tourism Minister Honorable Dr. Ernest Teller in the presence of stakeholders and partners of the tourism community. The name Collection de Popit originates from the island's French heritage and means a collection of small pieces or nuggets of gold or something rather special to you. The community tourism is about finding the right solution, authentic experience. It's really going to focus on how we can sell to the world authentic solution experiences in the various communities, the basket weaver, the bar, the restaurant, the accommodation, whatever it is that speaks of an authentic solution experience, it will fall under the community tourism bill. And therefore, when you add this, you can now understand the range of options St. Lucia will be presenting. CEO of the St. Tourism Authority, Lorraine Charles St. Jules, noted that the St. Tourism Authority is enthusiastic about this market-ready product that will further appetize travelers from the island source markets. As we go post-COVID into the endemic, past the pandemic into the endemic, uh, the clients from all global markets are looking for something different, something special, something out of the ordinary. So this collection, rebranded and coming together as 400 unique properties, offers someone who's looking for luxury, you're looking for wellness, you're looking for chill, relaxation. And I believe that product that we are launching today captures all these elements for the global market. In embracing the opportunity and valuing the partnership, a commemorative plaque was presented to the president of the Vacation Rental Association, Thomas Leos. We have a um, city oasis in Arundel Hill in Marsha, a super host, which means they have met top quality standards consistently um, for several months. That's Arundel Hill in Marsha. Might be surprising to some of you. Um, we have Michael's Place in Balata. Um, we have Sunny Palm Villas um, in Labrie, which was here tonight. Um, so the collection does not also only speak to um, the luxury properties, but quite a range spread out over the entire island. Admittedly, the concentration of properties is in Grosely, um, Soufre, and Labri. But I think with the advent of community tourism, which the minister spoke to um, earlier on, we would like to see the spread of the accommodation sector throughout the length and breadth of St. Lucia. All participating properties have been accredited by the Ministry of Tourism and the St. Lucia Tourism Authority to provide an added layer of reassurance. Senior Tourism Officer in the Ministry, Deepa Godari, explains. Our standards for this new brand were developed through the revision of entry requirements developed under the Caribbean Experiences brand, which was part of an OAST program, and the CrossQ approved national minimum standards for accommodation. To participate in this new program, Small properties, meaning those with under 35 rooms, will be required to be COVID-19 compliant in accordance with the COVID-19 Act number 74 of 2020 and successfully complete an onboard survey which, access, which assess the prospective applicant against the general entry requirements outlined in the St. Lucia National Standards Number 22 of 2012, Part 1, Specification for Tourist Accommodation. For more information on Collection de Popit, visit senusia.org. From the Government Information Service, Lisa Joseph reporting.